This video is sponsored by OWC. It's a new year and there might be some new productivity goals on your list for the new year. And so I figured why not highlight a few apps, tools, and services that might help you out a bit and become a bit more productive or maybe just more organized with your work for 2022. Before I get into this video though, I do wanna to touch on what's new for Mac Rumors in 2022, specifically two things. Uh, we just launched a new podcast called The Mac Rumors Show. You can check it out in the description down below. I'll leave it linked, but you can find it wherever you get your podcasts. And yeah, I think it's going to be great. The next episode specifically is going to be something you probably don't want to miss. And the second thing I wanna to touch on briefly is Mac Rumors just launched a new TikTok account. You can check that out. I'll leave that link in the description down below as well. Uh, it'll be more short form content like tips, maybe behind the scenes or just whatever we want to post. So go ahead, if you're into TikTok and you want to check that out, go ahead and visit that link in the description. So with that said, let's start off with something that's basically free and that's Calendly. There are some subscription tiers that are available if you want to subscribe to that, but I think the basic account is probably good enough for most of you out there. Calendly really helps you manage your calendar in an age where most of your meetings are probably virtual or on the phone, and you can set that up via email or Slack. Now, my favorite things about the service is that it allows you to let those requesting a meeting via Slack or email actually pick the time slot rather than going back and forth through those emails and try to find a good time. So whenever someone requests a meeting, they select a slot from your schedule, they only see the times that are available to you and only the length and type of meeting that you want to have. Your schedule fills up efficiently and everyone avoids those pesky excess email exchanges that you know, sometimes don't end up going anywhere because you're still trying to figure out what your days might look like. Now you can integrate Calendly with tons of other services and apps, especially like Zoom or Google Meet for those video links that you wanna add automatically to those events. And you can also download the iPhone app for alerts, link and account management, and so much more. And if you haven't already tried this service out, there are lots of users, so maybe you've heard of it or maybe you've tried it out before, but I highly recommend really, really giving it a shot for 2022 and moving forward. And if you have tons of meetings on a daily basis, this might be a great tool for you. Now, next up is Superhuman. You might have heard of it. It's an email app that I think a lot of people are interested in, but are highly skeptical of its incredibly high monthly price tag of $30 a month. I do need to preface this by saying this app is definitely not for everyone, especially those who could not care less about achieving inbox zero. But if that was your New Year's resolution this year and you are really adamant about getting this done and getting your emails down to basically nothing or only really what you need, this is definitely a great option. I like to think of Superhuman as Gmail on steroids. It's got all of the features that you would need from Gmail and then more functionality that you could ever want in an app that's also so incredibly efficient thanks to nearly every possible option of the app having some sort of keyboard command functionality tied to it. My favorite thing is by pressing Command K, you actually get to know what those keyboard commands are, but you also have a spotlight search like window that pops up strictly for this app. You can do just about anything you need to do by using this window. So compose, reply, compose snippets, and split your inbox, literally anything that the app has to offer. Now, speaking of what this app has to offer, there are unique features that are definitely worth mentioning, like what I just said earlier, the snippets and split inbox. So Snippets is the app's version of saved replies. So if you have a phrase or piece of info that you send out quite a lot, like pitches, meeting requests, which you can include your Calendly link in for ultimate efficiency, or you can create a snippet for basically anything and you can put it in anywhere that you need to. So for a quick real world use case on my end, I get a lot of products shipped to me. And so I use Snippets for email replies that contains all of the information someone's going to request when it comes to shipping info. It happens a lot and it's a time saver that I don't have to type out my address, phone number, all those shipping details all the time. Split inbox is a feature for those who want to cut out a lot of the fluff in their inbox and focus on conversations and specifically from people that you want to interact with in order to avoid any other distractions from emails that don't belong in that category. You can split your inbox into different streams like your team at work only, Google Doc edit invitations that might come your way, calendar requests, VIPs, newsletters, and more. Focus on one group at a time for a more efficient way to tackle your inbox. 
Superhuman also offers you remind me capabilities, calendar event creation right from within the app so you don't have to leave it, send later, and much, much more. I'm still learning all of the features, all of the keyboard commands, but I can absolutely notice a difference already with the time that I spend using the email app and how clean and organized my inbox is. So it's definitely worth trying out for a month and seeing if it's worth it to you. If it helps, then maybe that price tag isn't so bad. Now, if there's no way you want to spend that much on email, and trust me, I totally understand, then Spike Mail might be a different alternative that's maybe not as powerful or as efficient, but it's definitely worthy of a look. Spike is free, but offers some pricing tier options for those who want to use this with multiple business accounts. What I like about Spike, aside from its conversational style email design and the easy functionality, is that this app combines notes, calendar, tasks, and more all into one app. So basically everything else that I've already talked about or what I'm going to be talking about in this video could potentially be unnecessary as Spike Mail aims to tackle everything on that list. So if you get a lot of emails that are basically just tasks, like you need to send an invoice or reply to somebody and you need to put that on your task list, well, you can just do that right from within your inbox and everything stays neatly organized. You can have notes and documents from your team all in one spot. Group chats can be formed just like a messenger app, but it's all email. It actually kind of helps forget that you're spending so much time in email since it's a pretty unique design. There's an iPhone and an iPad app available, and since it's free, I definitely recommend taking a look at it. This next app is also free and is the only one on the list that's primarily used on your Mac. The rest of them can be used on your Mac, your iPhone, or your iPad, but I do think it's useful for for those who are looking for a good free clipboard manager for your Mac. Mackie is basic but powerful. Mackie remembers tons of things that you've copied over time and is easily accessible via a keyboard command. You get presented with a list of all of your recently copied items and you can easily choose from the list or you can go back and search for keywords of items that you might have copied a long time ago and have it all saved for you right there and you can easily search through it, which is really cool. Now, I'm an avid user of Paste, but I purchased that license a while ago and had I known about Mackie beforehand, I might not have done that. Being able to copy images, text, links, you name it, and search through all of my history, all without another subscription being added to my list and something I need to pay for constantly, would have been great to know about. But I do recommend donating at least a few bucks, buy them a cup of coffee or a beer or something to those developers of this app because, well, you know, they can keep bringing you awesome apps in the future or updates to Mackie that you're gonna want. So I highly recommend at least think about donating to them if you use this app. And last, but not least, NotePlan. I think I might have featured this app a long time ago. I don't really remember it because I don't remember it being this good, but either way, I definitely wanna highlight it because it could help you be more productive in 2022. This is another one of those app that fits pretty much everything that you could want except for email. And some of you might want to keep those things separate and that's totally fine. The sidebar gives you a look at all your daily notes, which are your tasks, what you have coming up for the week and review what's to come for the day or for you know the future of your task list. Then you have your notes section, smart folder functionality, and even the ability to tag notes and tasks with uh, hashtags for easy sorting later. I have a folder created for scripts here, which is actually where I wrote out the script for this video inside of NotePlan. And it's an easy to use markdown editor with tons of features that you could want. And this app is perfect for getting notes and work written up, tasks planned out, and get everything synced up with your calendar. I really do like it, but of course, all of this stuff comes with a subscription these days. And so I recommend giving it a shot for a month or for the free trial period to see if something that it's going to change your workflow. And if it does, well, then maybe it's worth the $7 a month. Now, before we end today's video, I do wanna give you more information about today's sponsor, OWC. The OWC Mini Stack STX is a stackable storage solution and Thunderbolt Hub expansion for your Mac Mini, or really any Mac. With a universal SATA hard drive SSD bay and an NVMe SSD slot, you can actually expand your mini storage capacity to gigantic proportions. Three Thunderbolt ports are enabled for you to connect millions of Thunderbolt USB and future USB 4 drives, displays, AV mixers, cameras, and tablets, as well as desktop accessories like a keyboard, card reader, or mouse. 
The Mini Stack STX is whisper quiet due to its internal heatsink and cooling fan. You can add over 200 times more storage to your Mac Mini and add RAID protection via soft RAID software. And of course, you're adding a mix of up to five Thunderbolt devices, three USB, and two displays. Even though this size perfectly for a Mac Mini, as I said before, you can use it with any Mac, even a PC or your iPad and Chromebooks. And so for more information about OWC in the Mini Stack SDX, visit the link in the description down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.